before the pandemic, economists were already saying Thailand's economy was not doing so well. The pandemic has since sent Thailand and the global economy into downfall. It is also widening the inequality gap. To provide a clear picture of what would otherwise be a face of joy, we talked to some people who are feeling the economic crunch and listened to their stories. Vegetable vendor in Bangkok's La Prau district, Chandra Namsari, told Thai PBS World that business has been slow this year. When the pandemic started, she could make some sales due to stockpiling and panic buying. But now, as the stagnation has dragged on for so long, people just do not have any more purchasing power. <laughs> Though the country is speeding up its vaccination plan, the situation seems to have been aggravated for Chandra due to other factors. Vegetable prices have risen because of the floods and the vegetarian festival. At the same time, the number of customers has fallen significantly since they have left the city due to the loss of jobs. Despite everything, the vendor told Thai PBS World she would still keep her vegetable stall and not quit, like many other businesses which have shut down because of the pandemic. Being in her 70s and more than 50 years in business, Chan Ron said she's saving up for her retirement. <laughs> Some other people, however, have decided to adjust to the economic downturn and switch occupations like Tanaya Grajono, also known as Guy Fon, who worked as a tour guide in the resort town of Pattaya for 10 years before becoming a real estate sales representative due to the lack of foreign tourists. Her company gave a heads up early when the pandemic hit last year and all the bookings were cancelled. Fortunately, a family member led phone into car sales. Her soft skills picked up from the tourism profession could be put to good use there. The economic recession was, however, also being felt in automobile sales too, forcing phone to change her path again after just 10 months. These are just two examples of millions of people struggling through this economy. We can only hope that after the national vaccination drive and the border reopening, more steps will be taken to restore the economy so people can get back on their feet once again. Shalalak Jan Monpen reporting for Thai PBS World.